Yo, what's up, everybody? <sighs> Weather is horrible. We got a bunch of snow last night, like three inches of snow, but it's cold. Wind is blowing 80 miles an hour. Like this is not spring beaver trapping weather. It is horrible. It's gonna get down to like 13 degrees tonight. Most of my sets are gonna freeze up. It's just bad, you guys. Um, we're back today to check the sets we checked yesterday. Hopefully produce another beaver or two. Um, and then we set another place yesterday. I'm gonna. You're gonna see that video. <clears throat> um, I was setting a couple bank dens up because obviously bank dens will produce in cold weather because the, the, the temps don't affect that because they're underwater. Well, I've been trapped in this place for like 20 years and there's a lady, I've, I've never I've never asked her for permission to trap before because I've never needed permission from her to trap because her, you know, her property is, uh, you know, has no bearing on what I'm, what I'm doing. Um, there's a little island out here with a house on it. This gentleman's let me trap for years. Um, and then there's a lady along the road that lets me trap. So I've never had a problem trapping there before. And now in this video, you'll see coming up, <clears throat> this lady is giving me a hard time. She's just like, you know, I'll, I'll try. You probably can't hear the audio. I'll try to word it for you. It's hard for me to even hear. But... She's, she starts out by asking me what I'm doing and I tell her beaver trapping and she's just like, oh, I don't think so. I'm like, why not? And she just, she was telling me that as long as, pretty much as long as the beaver aren't cutting down her trees, it, it doesn't matter. Nobody else's trees matter. She just, actually what her words were, were, I'm trying to remember, but I said, uh, they're cutting down everybody's trees and she, she said, well, they can't, those trees weren't that good of trees to begin with if the beaver were cutting them down. What's that even mean? Like, she just thinks that she can decide whose trees are good for them? It was, it was crazy. Eventually, she kept talking to me and I ended up just ignoring her. She kept talking to me and I, kept, I started ignoring her. She was like, well, I hope you got these this licenses needed because I'm calling the DNR. And I mean, this was yesterday during Easter. I'm, it's like, sure. I'm sure the game warden's going to want to hop out of Easter dinner to go down to check somebody that's trapping legally and, you know, yeah, not, not, not going to happen, lady. Anyway, that was interesting. So we're going to check a few or, or ch sets we checked the last time. We're going to check these ones and then we're going to get to those two banked in. So really windy out. Apologize. I'm trying to remove some of the background noise. Um, yeah, hopefully we get some beaver, you guys. We'll, you'll see regardless. All right, well, we are at the Beaver Lodge here, and I don't, huh, I don't know, I don't know if that trap is sprung or, I don't see anything in there. <clears throat> we'll check this foothold that I put in over here. Oh yeah, that foothold produced a beaver. Ha! Ah, I knew it would. Right there, boys. Put in that foothold yesterday, and there we go. There we go. Trap shy beaver. Sweet. We got a floater. Well, not really floating because it's down there. Anyway, the snow helped this not freeze up on me. There's my bait stick right there. Pull my T-bar stick out here. Here we go. This beaver was going nowhere. And I mean nowhere because this was a one of those no BS beaver extremes. Yes. Back foot catch on this beaver. Huh. You know what kind of surprises me is this trap has the beaver by the back foot right here. And it's bruised up here. Like he, like he slid his foot out, but I, I just don't see it happening with these four coiled traps. I mean, they're, they are powerful, really powerful. There's that trap. I'm gonna take this big beaver here. Just set him right here. There we go. 
nice big beaver traps shy beaver you guys that's why i'm here somebody else trapped these beaver and didn't get them and here i am <laughs> it's a good feeling i hate to see other trappers not catch beaver but at the same time if you've ever trapped a spot where the beaver are trap shy and you can catch some smart beaver out of there that somebody else couldn't it makes you feel good oh these no bs traps are no bs are powerful there we go get this guy set again Ooh. there we go okay now just like before this this is actually right down in the bottom of a beaver run it's really deep and i'm just gonna shove it in there there we go nice clay bottom down there and then this end of it obviously it's gonna go back in here i like these nice clay bottom lakes because you don't have to push these stakes in all the way if you really don't want to There we go. Okay. Oh. Get the trap right. No, the trap's right. Right up here. Getting as close as I can to this bait stick. I'm gonna pull this bait stick out. It's frozen, obviously, so that don't, you know, not really gonna matter. It's gonna get cold again tonight, but I'm gonna I'm gonna just shove it in here and refresh it up a little bit. Got a nice piece of poplar here. My bait stick. Gotta make sure you go get it in the bottom. Oh, there we go. A little in my hand. I'm gonna get it off in the water here though. Anyway, there we go. Try to grab a little bit of mud here. And just put it up on the snow here. Even make the you know beaver pop make them think that another beaver's been up here doing something and they're gonna come up to the bait stick regardless and hopefully we'll have another catch there or that might be the only the only two big beaver in here i don't know that's two big beaver out of this spot now one big one yesterday another one today um yeah like i said i don't i didn't see don't see i got a giant there yesterday big female and there was nothing in that other set and I don't see nothing in the other set today. So, there we go. Another big beaver down, baby. Let's go to the next spot. Well, we are back doing a little uh, trap in here. So you can see this big beaver, the big beaver is right there, okay? People at Olmos Island let me trap for years. He said, anytime you want, you can come trap. He said, my brother lives up here, but there's a couple bank dens down here, you guys. Actually, really big, wide bank dens, that one is anyway. Um, we're going to set them up some 330s and hopefully pull a big beaver or two. All right, so the first run we actually have is right down here. It's a big, deep run. Like, deep run. Oh. Trying to. Oh, here we go. So I got to anchor the trap here somewhere with this T-bar stake. Now this, since I'm using an H stand here, I don't have to anchor it 75 feet into the ground. That's the good part. I'm just trying to find some place where it's not frozen. See that? So I'm gonna push this down. There we go. That's far enough. What halfway down in the clay. And then we're gonna set this H stand up. They're quick. I don't I really wanted to use sticks here 
but I'm going to use them at the other run down there. So you can see all these roots here, bubbles, beaver been breaking ice here. So me as a trapper, I'm thinking banked in really close. Beaver trapping. No, why not? Well, I've, I trapped beaver for years for that guy. He, he doesn't want him out here. Well, he cuts all of his trees down. Well, yeah, he, he, he kills his oak trees and his ironwood. So, you, I mean, you can't tell me I can't trap here. I, I got all my licenses. Oh, I'm sorry, but he's, he's destroying everyone else's property. And I, I've been trapping beaver here for 20 years. All right, so there's some lady thinks that she can tell who can and can't trap here. So, got a 330 here. Nice deep run. All right, got my H sand ready. Just gonna put a piece of wire through the top here. the beavers aren't doing nothing wrong but they're not attacking her property they're attacking everybody else's okay H stand is ready I'm gonna put it right down in the center of this run here Okay, these two traps are set. And got one angry lady that likes beaver up there apparently, and she doesn't own the property, so it don't matter. Great, right, got a couple traps set. There's some lady over there yelling at me from her house, saying I can't trap the beaver, but I got permission from these other from everybody else. She, uh, when I asked her about it, she just said that it was okay that the beaver were chopping everybody else's trees down, but they're leaving hers her own. In fact, she said that they weren't good trees anyway if the beaver chopped them down. A lot of people don't know anything about beaver. 
they just like to not see him killed, you know, but it's not it is how it is all the time. All right, we're back. Let's see if that lady comes out and yells at me again. Could really care less, but still, I'd laugh a little bit. That was right down here, right? Yeah, it was right here. My sticks don't look like they've been moved, I don't think. I don't think they've been moved, have they? Oh yeah, well, this trap is sprung. It really means, because I don't see nothing sitting here in it. Oh, that's sitting pretty good though. stick. I don't see nothing in my trap here. So I don't know if it's sprung from the beaver or sprung from the crazy lady. Alright, well that one's reset. see here. I don't see my H stand sticking up out of the water here. Which could be a good sign. Which usually is a good sign I should say. right here. It's right here with a beaver in it. Holy a big beaver. There we go you guys. Awesome. Well sorry Karen but this one didn't make it. Alright guys that's awesome. We got a big beaver in this H stand here. There's the H stand, there's the trap, and there's the stake right there. Ugh. Look at that, the H stand actually worked. Stands are super fast. That's why I like them and don't like them. There's that big beaver right there. All right, there's my 330 on the H stand again. Move this stuff out of the way. Some snow and flush. This this beaver got caught in here sometime early last night before it snowed. Or else this would have been all tore up, obviously. Oh. All right, we're gonna put that right in the center of the run again. Ugh. Like so. There we go. You guys picked up one nice big beaver in that H stand set. And I don't see, I don't see Karen coming out. Sweet. Well, so I'm gonna call that day a success with how the snow and everything is. Um, caught two big beaver today. One of them is off of that nuisance place. So that's three off of there. And the last one was off those banked ends where Karen came out. And she didn't come out today. I'm really glad. Um, after I went up. Actually, I, I just pulled away in a game warden I drove by, and I drove back there to see if he'd stop there or anything to, to check it out. Because if he if he had, of course, I would have stopped and talked to him. That way, um, we could straighten things out. Where I know he would be like, she has no legs to stand on. Like, she has no say in where you trap. 
But anyway, enough of that. Uh, that was a pretty good day. Like I said, two big beaver, one out of the new spot, one of that nuisance spot where I know they're trap shy. Uh, I would say that's, you know, that's why I got it in that foothold. And that's why I added that foothold there was because I just knew, I knew that there was more beaver around there, but I was thinking that they were going to shy away from the 330s and they certainly did um, today. But anyway, I need the snow to melt, guys. I mean, that's that's just how it is. We, we all know how spring trapping goes. I need warm weather, grass along the shoreline so I can do 330s and stuff without worrying about stuff freezing up. I don't know how limited I'm going to be with my spring trapping this year because work's going to start up. I think it's going to go from, you know, 25 to 70, just like that, and work's going to start. So I'm going to put out as many spring trapping videos as I can. Might be three, it might, might be 30, I don't know. And then I'm going to get into the spring fishing this year again. So really appreciate everybody's support. I'm Guys, I'm so close to 50,000 subs right now. It's insane. If you could tell everybody about me, about my trapping, about my fishing, again, it's about hunting, mushroom foraging, everything. I would really love to hit 50K here real soon, you guys. Anyway, till my next check, peace out.